Hey everybody, it's Kyle. You know, a couple of days ago, I mentioned Canute. We were talking, and he said something to me that uh, kind of got my attention. And you know, he said, "I want to hear what you think of this." He was in a presentation, and a guy said that uh, uh, conflict opens the door to intimacy. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, the first thing that crossed my mind was that uh, conflict also can uh, slam the door shut, lock it, and throw away the key. <laughs> and let me explain why I say that. And, and I kind of agree with the first half, too. In, uh, conflict can really open the door to intimacy. Uh, my wife and I, a long time ago, were in a state of, uh, our, our marriage and our relationship was in a real state of, of disarray and disconnect. And I personally, and I think she would agree with this, we both weren't sure if it, if it was gonna last. Uh, there was so much stress and so much tension in our homes with our two sons on the autism spectrum and we weren't really managing it very well or doing a good job uh, as a couple and as a family, uh, it was, you know, we felt like we were on a, we felt like our sons were driving a speedboat and, and we were being pulled behind in an inner tube. And he was just driving all over the lake and slinging us every which way. And, and we were really kind of at his mercy. Uh, he was running our family. Uh, our, two old, our two sons on the spectrum were absolutely running our family. And what had happened is it caused my wife and I to have a lot of conflict between the two of us. Now, that conflict at that time was slamming the door to intimacy and locking it and trying to throw away the key. Uh, you know, sometimes when we have heavy or hard situations in our homes, we want to blame somebody. And a lot of times that blame will fall to our spouse or we become frustrated uh, or discouraged and we can take that out on our spouse and that is exactly what my wife and I were doing uh, until we had a tipping point and those of you that watch my videos know that story if you don't ask me and I'll, I'll repost it for you but we came to a tipping point where we decided that if if our family was going to survive she and I were going to have to become a better team and uh, we decided together that we were going to work together and have a very specific plan that we followed on a daily and weekly basis. And as we implemented that plan and as we started to uh, lower the stress and the tension in our homes and, and really start to bring back a little happiness, the uh, conflict that we had in the past and now conflict we have now does absolutely unlock the door to intimacy. Uh, if you're having struggles in your relationship, uh, you're not alone. Uh, it's been said, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard that the stress and strain in an autism home is equal to that of a combat soldier. And, and I've never been in combat, but certainly I can believe that because we felt that. My, I felt that, my wife felt that, our typical kids felt that, until we made a change that allowed us to start lowering that stress and tension. Um, had we not done that, I imagine we probably would have been like a lot of, we both would have been single parents probably. Um, I want you to know that if we can do it, if my wife and I can do it, and you know how much I love my wife. Uh, you can do it. And if you're a, a lady and you're watching this and you say, yeah, but my husband won't or my spouse won't, if you're a man, uh, you can fix it. And uh, the minute you think you can't fix it, you're in real trouble. Uh, the other thing that I want to real quickly caution you about is... You know, if you, if you manage these things separately and, and stress and struggle separately, uh, a lot of times you'll come out the other end and, and realize you don't have a lot in common. I've talked to 
and, and it can cause problems too. I, there's another famous blogger who uh, who just recently, in the past couple of months, announced that he was getting divorced, uh, and they had grown apart as they tried to manage the chaos in their home with their son. And I would assume, I don't know for sure, because I haven't had a chance to talk to him, but from the hints he drops, I would assume they were both working their hardest to manage their son uh, independently of each other. And and his statement was that they kind of just uh, grew apart and don't have anything in common. And that's flabbergasting to me because, don't you love that word, flabbergasting? <laughs> uh, my wife and I have our kids in common. We have autism in common. We have our love for each other in common. And I think because we really focused on working together, it brought us closer together. And it did open that door to intimacy. And now we have what I consider to be in a top 1% of happy marriages. So I challenge you. I do a lot of challenging, don't I? It's important. Uh, for your kids and for your relationship and for your happiness that you work hard to make those things work I know it's hard uh, marriage is the hardest thing in the world I believe uh, but you can do it talk to your spouse talk about working together develop a daily weekly plan and act on that plan together become a team it's helpful for your kids when you're a team. They'll try to use you against each other. But if you're a team, they can't. And you can really do bring back a lot of the happiness and joy that should be in your home. And the happiness and joy you deserve and your kids deserve and your spouse deserves. So have a great day. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.